German engineering tailored for the Australian Navy. The offshore patrol vessel project began five years ago with high hopes inside defence. The products we generate are delivered on time and to cost. But now it's been added to a government list of at least 28 major military procurements found to be running late by a combined 97 years. We have inherited a defence procurement mess. The ABC's revealed the first of 12 Arafura-class OPVs has been deemed unseaworthy after failing to meet civilian safety standards. Delays also blamed on the coalition government for insisting a losing tenderer be included in the build. It was an act of insanity and because of that contractual argy-bargy, uh, we've seen um, a year's delay. Labor didn't have any problems with boats being built or submarines being built because they never ordered one. Other multi-billion dollar defence projects falling behind schedule include the future frigates, P-8 Poseidon aircraft and various satellite projects, with Labor claiming to have uncovered an extra six and a half billion dollars in cost blowouts since the last budget. What we see today is Richard Miles and Pat Conroy setting the conditions for stage one of defence cuts. We accept the responsibility of government and we do so going forward. The Defence Minister's declared he wants a new culture of accountability for military spending. But ahead of this month's budget, the government's also keen to highlight more examples of cost blowouts it claims to have inherited from the Coalition. And in the Defence portfolio, there's no shortage of expensive surprises. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.